So it, particularly if you think about PPI, and as this chart shows, what you can see globally is there does tend to be a very strong cycle that, that the world sort of moves together. That when PPI in one country, particularly the big economies, is rising, PPI in the other big economies also tends to be going up. And if you look at that chart, actually China didn't look so different. Like PPI didn't rise as quickly during COVID as elsewhere. But, and again, because of these monetary reasons that, that China, have, China had domestically, but there still was a response as global inflation went up. As global inflation came down again, PPI deflation in, in PPI inflation in China also came down. Now, again, I think it's only in the last course of 18 months that that started to look different. And the reason for saying that is because, you know, since then, we've seen that, you know, the COVID correction inflation has happened. And after that, PPI inflation, uh, PPI in the US has started to rise once again. But PPI in China has continued to fall. So unlike that period during COVID, it now looks like something quite idiosyncratic is happening in China. Again, that's something that's really developed over the last 18 months rather than being seen before that. 